Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install Microsoft Project on Windows 10. In the search bar, let's type in Office Customization Tool. Click on the first link. From here, choose your PC's architecture. I'm using 64-bit. Use the Office suit. It's basically the version that you want. You can choose enterprise or business or anything else you want. I'll choose enterprise. You can choose whether to whether to use or not use Visio. Uh, I'm not going to choose it this time. So I'm going to select none. Project. I'm going to choose the project standard 2016. Additional products, you can install them if you want. You can install a language pack. Basically, this will allow you to have different languages in your project. I'm not going to choose anything here. Now, important thing, update channel. It's basically the kind of updates you want to have. If you want to have a beta channel to receive beta updates, you can choose a beta channel, which is a preview channel right here. I'm going to choose the stable usual uh, channel, which is the current channel. You can choose the version, just leave it on latest. Now, the apps section, it's up to you what, what to choose from here. You can choose all of these or you can choose none. I suggest, uh, I mean, I would recommend using the usual ones, which is the, uh, which is the, uh, for example, Word, Outlook, uh, PowerPoint, and Excel. You can choose Skype if you want. I'll, I will leave it, leave it like this. Features, um, serv search service for Bing. Uh, I would leave this off personally. You can choose to leave it enabled if you want. Now the language, let's select the language as well. I'm going to choose English United Kingdom. You can install additional languages if you want. For example, if you want to choose, say, French, you can add it if you want. That's possible. Um, okay, so let's choose French, full and it's now okay so press add okay now that we have chosen the language you can also select the other options I suggest uh, skipping the installation completely let's just leave it at default and uh, let's now move to the licensing and activation you can choose to skip the EULA if you want um, okay, you can choose a product key as well. Now, in general, nothing important. Application preferences. Okay, so generally you do not want to touch anything here either. So the most important things are the products and releases, uh, update channel, uh, your apps, language, and that's in. That's it. So after that, just uh, click on finish here. Okay, and now on the right you can see the configured settings you can uh, scroll down and see what kind of settings you have applied if you if you're not satisfied with something you can run them back and select everything you maybe have missed so just uh, scroll down and then select import sorry export right here we're going to choose the office XML formats click OK accept the terms file name you can choose any file name you want I'm just going to choose it as it is configuration press export and now choose a location on your PC and save your com configuration file to your computer I'm going to choose the downloads folder okay so now I am in my downloads folder so in here you can also create a folder on your desktop for example if you want if that's more comfortable for you I'm going to do it here so I'm just going to go new folder I'm going to name this one project 2016 and I'm going to move this configuration file into this newly created folder and let's open it okay so from here we need we need a certain app called office deployment tool now let's click on the download button and just download it to your computer okay from now install this app to your computer and we will move on from there okay so this is the app click here to accept the terms continue now you have to choose 
the folder that we have created, which is the project 2016, depending on how you named it, just choose it in this uh, window here. So I'm going to find it and choose it now. Okay, so this is my folder, project 2016. Click OK. As you can see, files are extracted successfully. This means you have installed it into this folder. Okay, from here, uh, you need to delete all of these four files. They're not required. Delete them. And you should be left with configuration file, .xml, and the setup exe file. Okay, from here we need to continue and open up our command prompt as an administrator. I'm going to do that and get back to you. Okay, so from here in this window we need to type in cd. Then we need to go back to our explorer window with our created folder. Click on the path here. Control C or you can just uh, choose everything. Right click and click copy. Now get back to your command prompt. Press it paste it onto here, press enter so that we uh, choose our folder inside of this command prompt. Okay, from here let's type in setup.exe slash configure space and choose our configuration file. Configuration.xml and click enter. Let's wait. Okay, another loading screen. As you can see, I have a Microsoft Office installing in the background. Let's just wait. Okay, now that we are done installing, as you can see, I went to my apps list. And as you can see, if I go to install date, so the freshest apps I have installed. So I have my Microsoft 365 apps for Enterprise. Exactly something I have uh, I have been in installing this whole time. And here is our project uh, app. I'm accepting the license, license agreement and I can freely use this now in my system. So this is how you do it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.